Hi, JP Fournier of The Movie Jerks here, coming to you on day 17 of Sci-Fi September, the month where I watch a science fiction film I've never seen every day for the full month. So yesterday we had Plan 75, so today we are going to get The Alternate. Okay. Nothing can keep you safe from yourself. Upon unlocking a portal to an alternate dimension, where all his dreams have come true, struggling filmmaker Jake is forced to confront his idealized self. Okay, yeah, alternate universe film. I'm game. Uh, so day 17, I am watching The Alternate. The Alternate feels like it is from an alternate universe, as I could have sworn I have seen this film before. But it was slightly different. And this happened to be the case as there are multiple films about parallel universes out there, some tackling the same subject. While there's plenty of good films dealing with parallel universes, I would recommend watching The Door, Parallel, and even Nacho Vigalondo's short film in VHS Viral called Parallel Monsters. The alternate focuses on one person seeing a better version of themselves in a different world, and steal that life and decide to try to live in that new world. And unfortunately, it doesn't explore the concepts to distinguish itself from all the other parallel universe films. This one doesn't dive into any moral quandaries, no controversial takes, and no examination of the ramifications of completing such a task. Ironically, the film about parallel universes tells a very linear storyline. And because of this, the film can sometimes feel like it's stretched out and unnecessarily slower than it needs to be. In fact, because it's simply a one-note story, it could easily be compressed to a short film length without missing the main plot points and important story beats. Now, for those of you that do intend to watch this, I shall place a spoiler alert here. I will not spoil the very final scene. Even though that's been done in other films as well, this film still has fun with it. But I will mention certain changes that some people may find to be a spoiler. Half of the film, our protagonist is Jake, a self-centered wannabe film director, and he's living off the income of his burnt-out wife. Perfect. I'll just tell Stevie you want to take my shifts so I can stay home and jerk off all day. Hey, 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 just listen. don't forget, one of these days you're going to have to pick up the slack and he's not likable whatsoever. When he sees the more successful version of him in the parallel world, he schemes to be a part of that life, lying and cheating on everyone to get his way. The other Jake turns out to be a good guy in this film, fighting to get back the life that he earned. While the film takes on the idea of a good Jake versus a bad Jake, and never explores the differences between the two that justify why they are different, the only details we are given about why good Jake is good is because he's rich and successful. So the film basically is telling us that poor and unsuccessful people are just as good as being villains. On top of that, because this film is not doing anything new with parallel universes, it reflects the life of the filmmaker in the movie, just borrowing from someone else's work. And in this sense, the film becomes somewhat meta and if it was accidental or on purpose, I still thought that was kind of cool. Anything good? <laughs> no, just another portal. <laughs> Crazy. The truth is out there. <laughs> yeah. And there you go. Day 17 of Sci-Fi September. This time I watched The Alternate. What other parallel universe films do you like? Let us know in the comments section. And if you're curious about other films we're watching this month, be sure to hit the subscribe button below for updates daily. And for more information about The Movie Jerks, you can go to www.themoviejerks.ca.